now then, welcome back to another episode of Agrarian Skies 2. Firstly, let me apologise for the late hour in which this video may be coming to you. Um, it's not my usual slot by any means, but I've been away for the weekend. So, without further ado, I will crack on with it. And I'll, uh, I'll tell you a little bit about the weekend while I'm at it as well. I went away for my anniversary my 12 year wedding anniversary and we took the kids to a safari park oh yes uh now we'll talk about this during the episode but i just want to go over a few things while i'm getting started so i can walk and talk while it, while we're at it uh there's been an update the presses were are now available through different means the update is uh let's see recipe on this we got stuck on a couple of these last time around with the thermal foundation metals not not going through the sieve or the other way around the forestry blocks not going through the sieve now there's two different recipes for the sieve here we didn't have that last episode um recipe for this one's changed as well it's now the lead that we got uh goes through and the other one is there we go that that tin forestry tin and also the thermal expansion tin both now get sieved with a 100% chance of getting the right press. So we've done that and now I've got the four silicon presses that we need for applied energistics to get started. Uh, the thing that I was working on previously was getting a storage system for all the mob drops. Just a basic thing to start off with. So that's what we're going to start off with again today. I want to get myself a little pool of water going somewhere. I think I had one previously and get some crystals made up uh, where did I put it last time I can't remember where oh, I put it over here yeah it's already here okay that's good and I've got to use charged certis quartz which I think I failed to do last time I think I got it wrong and uh, certis dust and redstone so let's throw the whole lot in there Boink. And crackle, crackle, crackle. It starts making what we need. Crackle, crackle, crackle. It doesn't take too long, but it does turn them all into these special crystals that we want. Uh, so while it's doing that, yeah. Uh, we went to the Safari Park in um, the West Midlands. West Midlands Safari Park. Because there is a animatronic dinosaur exhibition there. And because it's animatronic and it's dinosaurs, uh, my boy... Is that not working? Maybe it just takes a little bit longer than it did before. I thought it was really quick before. Looks like it's crackling. Have I got this wrong? Maybe that. Uh, my boy loves dinosaurs, basically. My boy loves dinosaurs. And because... Nether quartz... Ah, nether quartz. Not that quartz. Okay. Uh, my boy loves dinosaurs. My youngest... My youngest boy loves dinosaurs. He's absolutely dinosaur mad, and because there was an animatronic dinosaur exhibit there, we decided to go all the way to the safari park. So we went around the safari park, we saw all the, uh, the animals, all of the uh, camels and lions and tigers and elephants and all that kind of stuff. We went and saw all of that stuff, and then also went into the park itself where they had the dinosaurs showing and he was absolutely ecstatic by it Let's throw some of them in there well not the book <laughs> i'll get the book out in a minute go on zap will you zap would you what am i doing wrong okay uh, charge certis quartz one nether quartz and redstone dust am i Am I doing that completely wrong again? Man, it's been so long since I made this lot of stuff. I had it all automated previously. Right, okay. Let's try one more time. And then we'll try this story once again as well. One of them. One of them. One of them. Yes! Finally! Okay. So let's throw the lot in. I thought... Oh, dusts and things and all that kind of stuff. 64 of those that'll do nicely i'll need the uh, crushed dust for everything else anyway i got oh it makes two does it, it makes two 
Uh, makes two flux crystals. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. Yeah, while we were doing uh, the tour of the safari park, we had uh, some brilliant time. It was a, a great day out. And our youngest loved it. And our two older children also loved it lots and lots. Uh, it was a great day to be had. And they... They were very thankful for it. There we go. And get one of those. Right, I've just made an inscriber. The inscriber and the inscriber presses all work hand in hand nicely. I I do need to make some silicon though, which was something I picked up earlier, or was it something I needed to make now? Silicon. Oh yeah, just smelting this stuff. So the quartz dust and that gets smelted. So we can do that here. There are so many different ways of doing this. When Ender IOs are in, this silicon's a byproduct of something, but there's no Ender IO in here. So we can make silicon by cooking this dust or this Certis Quartz dust into the silicon to make silicon presses. Uh, yeah. So we we drove down on Saturday afternoon after I had uh, uploaded and uh, scheduled all of my Saturday videos. And then we stayed overnight in a hotel. Uh, we went to a meal, so we had a meal out because it was our anniversary. So we had a an anniversary meal. Let's change that to that, and that should be okay for that. Uh, yeah, that looks like it's working. Yeah, we had a, a nice anniversary meal all together, um, and then we went out a little bit more for some more stuff afterwards. Uh, then once we'd got back everybody went to sleep and that was a that was a kind of a strange experience because the hotel room we'd got was one double bed and two single beds in the same room and because of that um we had all three kids in the two single beds we just pushed the two single beds together and it was like 11 o'clock before everyone went to sleep because they just refused because they're kids they they know no better so they were <laughs> They were literally making it a very difficult thing for us to all sleep. Um, so, yeah, we had an interesting night. And then once they did all go to sleep around 11 o'clock, uh, then they were all really, really tired the following day. And the following day we were planning on going out to the uh, safari park to go and have a look around. And that, uh, that did take a bit out of it as well because it was like several hours just walking around. Uh, doing the things that we had to do to go around the safari park. Uh, I'm looking at making one of these, a 1K storage drive, okay? So I need a logic processor. And logic processor, I need some gold. Have got any gold in here? No. I get some gold in there. Yes. Okay, let's get a couple made up. Uh, these logic presses are absolutely awesome. If you've watched other series of mine, you've seen me using these before. Um, there are ways of making things uh, automated, but for right now I'm just making the basics. There's no particular quest line for this. This is as far as the Applied Energistics quest line goes in Agrarian Skies right now, which is why I'm not too concerned about doing everything just yet, because I think I'll probably have to do everything all over again. So I'm just going to do it just the basics, really. Let's take a couple of it. In fact, let's just take it all because I'll probably need it for something else. Uh, yep, there we go. So, as you saw there, this, um, let's see, silicon press plus silicon gives us this printed silicon. So, in there like that, yeah? It just prints it for us. It needs a power supply, so this power has gone down, as you can see. It needs a power supply to do it. Then the logic press and a bit of gold made these printed logic circuits and now I'm going to combine those two together so I'm going to have one of each of those with a bit of redstone and that will then make a circuit you can see the progress bar there it'll make the circuit ping and that's now the logic processor so they all work pretty much the same the calculation presses do the uh, crystals they do these certis quartz crystals and turn those into a circuit and the inscriber uses diamonds, and that's for the more advanced machines. Uh, but we're not doing too much advanced applied energistics today. I just want to try and uh, quickly get some stuff sorted out. So, oh, I'm going to need some more of that Certis Quartz now, because I managed to throw all of that away before. Let's, boom, take a stack. 
I've got loads of this stuff. I could build myself an awesome applied energistic system, and I probably will. But for right now, we just need to get the basic setup done. Uh, 1k storage drive, that. Yeah. So, four redstone in the corners. Okay, easy. There we go. And some of that in there. Okay, good, good. And the Certis Quartz glass, we need some glass for it as well. So let's grab some of that. Bit of a stack there. There we go. We can quickly make ourselves a basic disk drive. Uh, this storage requires it. There we go. Four like that. Okay. Uh, oh, actually, I could... Uh, I could show that in there and throw it in. There we go. Let's take four of those. And that is then like I saw. Okay. Iron down the bottom. Uh, it was that in the middle. And was it those across the top? Uh, oh, yes. Three more redstone. There we go. Three redstone and then this glass at the top there. Okay. So now we have a storage cell. Awesome. Better than chess. Unlocking inventory slots that I don't need to unlock anymore, but that's cool enough. And I'm going to take a load of emeralds. We've got some emeralds. 64 emeralds. Very nice, very nice. And I'm going to take these over to Sorin, a little buddy in the uh, nether over here. And hopefully the nether hasn't changed any in the update. Uh, maybe a little bit. He's over here, though. Uh, yeah, hopefully the nether hasn't changed enough that he's not in the same place anymore. No, of course not. There is a there is a new thing I spotted in there, though. Uh, let's take one, two, three, four, four of those chests. While we're in here, let's take an apris chest as well. Uh, an ender chest would be nice. We'll do that. And... I don't know whether to take these just yet or not. No, I won't bother because I've never never really gone into them that deeply. So I won't bother doing them just yet. We will do something forestry in here when there's some quests for forestry. But for right now, we'll just do it as we are. You see what I did to this? That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? I like that. It stops them growing all the way down so I don't walk through them because that's uh, like stinging nettles. It hurts you when you go through them. Sets you on fire or something, I think. Gives you a bit of damage that way. And we're back through. And it's still night time, but that's all good. Okay. Nom 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 nom. So now we've got the applied energistics chest, and we've also got a disc to go in the drive. So we can have everything depositing into the applied energistics system uh, if we wish. I don't think this is powered directly. Let's put this in like that anyway. And no, it's not not powered from this. Let's do an output there. Oh, it is. Oh, yeah, it can be directly powered like this. Okay, that's good. Uh, what I will do is probably build another big reactor, um, but only a, a basic shaped one, just so that we can get this on the go. Uh, so now I should be able to store things in there like that. Yeah, there we go. So now everything is stored in this chest on the disk. So, I should be able to take this disc out. It's got items in it, and that will then... There's nothing in there, yeah? Everything's now stored on this disc, which is awesomely ideal. So now I could have everything from the mob farm feeding into an applied energistic system. Uh, what I don't have is an easy access to the items in there, which I can do that by having monitors and cables and things. So let's make a bit of cabling. Uh, huh, huh, huh. where's the basic cables? There's the glass cable. Okay, so it needs a f quartz fibre and two of these flux crystals. So I'm glad I've met, got quite a lot of them. And this is glass with the dust in between. So I'm okay with that as well. Good, good. So let's go with taking that away and put the glass in there. Like that. And take a load of that. You're always going to need loads and loads of these cables because, well, because that's the nature of the beast, isn't it? So we've got stacks on stacks of that now. I can combine that with uh, wool, I think. 
Uh, I've got one piece of wool. Maybe that's something to start sorting out. He's getting a bit of uh, extra wool. And that makes a covered cable. The only real difference between a glass cable and a coloured covered cable is that the glass cable sends a little bit of a an item pulse through it, a little bit of a thing through it. So when you see it like this, when a request is made, a little electrical pulse type thing goes through it. But with these covered cables, that does not happen. Uh, let's go, boom. That does not happen. You don't see the graphic, and therefore it's slightly better for your FPS because you don't see the graphic every time. Uh, but that's not really what we're after just at the minute. Uh, I've got three of these chests. I'm going to make some more of the discs as well uh, and put those on. The next thing, though, is we need to have an access point and a crafting terminal. We don't need a crafting terminal at this point. Pattern chest, no. Uh, interface terminal, ME terminal, that'll do. So for this, we're going to need one of these logic processors and a couple of cores, a formation core and an annihilation core. They're two slightly different cores and also the dark illumination panel. So while we've got this set up, do we have another piece of gold? I thought we made a second one. I'll put it in here, didn't I? Yeah, there it is. So we're going to have a second one of those. Uh, yeah, logic press. I threw everything into there before I actually needed it out. So that can go in there with one of those and a bit of redstone get me the second one of those that'll do and the illumination panel is a couple of glowstone and a couple of this quartz glass with an iron ingot that's nice and easy to do as well so a couple of glowstone i think i've probably got it over in that other chest but let's get a couple of glowstone over here and we can quickly set that up as well uh, first up, let's take this, and that, and that, and check this out. Make one of those again. Oh, I've run out of glass, haven't I? How much did I have in there? I've got two in there. Oh, I've got some glass in there as well. That's alright then. Uh, was it four like this, and four like that? No, it's the other way around. Okay, so it's five. I am useless at remembering recipes, have you noticed? I think you've probably noticed I'm useless at remembering recipes. There we go, get another four of those. Uh, okay, so then the illumination panel duh, 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 was that, that, that. Three of those, one of those, and two of those with the iron at the back. That makes three illumination panels. Okay, cool. Uh, next up, the formation planes then. Let's see. <clears throat> we need some of this flux dust and another logic processor makes two. So I'm going to need two more of those logic processors making up. So I'll get those sorted out while we're busy doing this. Uh, as you can see, ways of automating. You can only put one in at a time. You can only ever put one in at a time. So that makes it awkward. So automation becomes a very, very key feature of this mod is to get it automated so that you can uh, do all these things quickly and easily. And boop, let's take those two out because I'll need those next. I keep trying to press buttons to get out and it doesn't work like that, does it? Let's take that, put that in there and put that in there. Get two more of these done. Uh, what were the other things I needed for them? Oh, the uh, flux dust. The flux dust is a fairly simple thing to produce. Uh, that works either way around. Yep, there we go. Uh, you can just grind up these little uh, flux crystals. So uh, take that and grind up a couple of flux crystals. Let's get a little bit of this flux dust. There we go. Three's possibly enough for now. I can always make more. I'll do a lot more of this sort of stuff off camera as well. As you can see, I've got all the raw materials I need to be able to do this sort of stuff. But... I don't want to just sit there doing it all on video for you. So we've got that, which can make two. So we'll take two of those. Clear that out. And the other one is that, which requires actual nether quartz. Bomb. We'll take that. I'll probably make a fair stock of this up later. Uh, that formation plane there can make that. Awesome. So then that one and that one, that goes that way around. And what was the other thing? We needed, oh yeah, calculation press, which is that one up there. That then gives us an ME terminal. There we go, awesome. 
Love it. And the ME terminal can just attach to any part of the network. So I'll put it there, for instance. So beforehand, I had to jump up here and select inside there. Now I can access it here. And I should be able to access everything on this eventually as well. So why I can't right now, I don't understand. Um, I should be able to access that. Hmm, maybe this needs power because that's receiving direct power. Maybe the actual setup itself isn't receiving power. That's potentially a problem. But we can fix that because we can do a, a power interface, which is uh, eh, 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 power storage, power interface. Where or oh, where are we? Let's find it. Got this here we've got energy cells but we also need an energy acceptor which is four more of this quartz glass four more iron and a flux crystal there so we need some more of the glass that would be good to start off with then so that was this way around that's it we get four more of that and that is then like that there we go so we've got an energy acceptor so if I put the energy acceptor like there and pop this off again now, I'll put this over here. That should now start accepting energy and hopefully connect up to the system. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> so the, uh, the, the chest itself was okay to receive energy from direct contact. But the wiring needed an energy converter or an energy acceptor to allow me to put things into here like this. So now all of this stuff that I'm putting in here, uh, applied energistics or not right now, I'll sort all that out. That's all going to be stuff now in this chest over here, stored away in the chest. Yeah, pretty awesome. I like, I like a lot. And so all I've got to do next is have it set up so that things go into this chest uh, or into the applied energistic system. And we can do that slightly easier than that it looks as well. We get ourselves an interface, which is now a pl plate, I believe, as well. Uh, interface. I could just type it in. Let's just type it in. Uh, interface. Interface. Okay. There we go. Interface. An ME interface. So we've got these two cores again, which we've just got spares of. So that's okay. And any glass. Seems good to me. Let's do that and that. Uh, no, because everything's in here. So we got this formation plane. <laughs> Man, everything's everywhere. When you, when you get it set up nicely, everything gets... Uh, pretty well automated which is good uh, what was the other thing I needed some iron which I've put in there as well and a couple of glass which I've got on me there awesome should be okay to just click this in now there we go an interface so with an interface I can put an interface on the system let's put it there say right and this interface whenever you put something into the interface it will get sucked up and taken and that will now appear in here so that iron I take all the iron out and with the interface I can put the iron in and the iron goes back into the system which has gone back into the chest over here there you go it's gone back into there and that means now that things can go into this so if I take let's take this off thank you and take this off thank you and that's trying to smelt in there which is not what i want so now i can use almost any means of putting items into inventory i like a soul let's put the emeralds in there the emeralds will slowly but surely flick through with this interface and go into the system so as you can see slowly but surely the emeralds are building up the stock as they're coming through the hopper from the chest above so Almost everything from every other place can go into the applied energistic system. I like that. I like that a lot. 
So now all I have to do is rip this back down and go and uh, take it over there. I might need a few other little bits. I might need a, a couple of extra interfaces and things like that. But I'll quickly make those up and set something up downstairs in the mob farm area. Alrighty, well, it's a very, very uh, simplistic setup today. But you can see the purpose behind it. Here we go. Look. So I got the power connected to the chest. The power connected to the energy acceptor. That's connected by a cable to each other. And I can access what's in here from on top up here. Let's take that out. Uh, I can access that from up here anytime I want. And down here, I've just got this interface here, which takes it from the ex uh, the transfer pipes into the interface. And I've also got the controller down here so I can see what I'm doing down here as well. So I could take everything from that chest there, for instance, and have whatever that is start appearing in here. Uh, that is sticks, by the looks of it. The sticks are now being imported into here. I can also do this over here. You see, this is empty at the minute, and this is empty at the minute. But if I break something like this, that will go into there. Oh, it's already gone. How about that one? That one zaps all the items. Yeah, all the items zapped into there. And one by one, they will get taken out of here and put into this inventory over here. And then we'll end up in here. So as you can see, yeah. Uh, what I want to do is, because this automatically accepts everything, I can do it that way or the other way, really. I want to try and take it so that I've got all of the items out of these things and either manually put them in like that uh, or just break the barrel or the the chest and let everything get sucked in via one of these methods. However, that's going to be pretty slow going, isn't it? So let's look at another way of doing that. So we can go from... Well, we can go from here. All of this can just get sucked in. I've got to clear the space before I can start setting up properly, you see. So I've got to do it this way round. Otherwise, I'll end up with all sorts of a mess all over the place. So now that should start just taking everything. Yep. Uh, this only does 64 item types. Uh, these bows don't count as anything. These leather pants and everything don't count as anything. But I can set up other things from the applied energistics to automatically transfer stuff out. Um, so we'll we'll take a look at that next episode, I should think. All the little ins and outs that I'm going to be able to do. And uh, where am I going to put all the cabling? Because the cables do take up a lot of space. And we've got to worry about channels, which, again, I'll probably go over next episode. Uh, but this is meant to be just a basic first look. As an import, uh, an import bus, which um, pulls items into the applied energistic system much faster than anything else and there's an export bus which pushes items out of the applied energistic system and I've got a few chests and I can make a few more discs so I should be able to link all this together using these chests and a new few discs to give myself a lot of adequate storage and therefore this one terminal will access all the chests that I've got in the system and all of the things that I've got in the system and I'll also be able to set up some exporting of the items that I don't want, such as the bows and things, to get rid and uh, get rid of a few other bits and pieces. Uh, but that's about all i got time for this episode, folks. Thank you very, 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 very much for watching. Um, kind of a, a short episode, just getting to the basics of Applied Energistics today. Uh, just setting up, showing you it in action what I've got to do. I've got to clear all this stuff and put it all onto disk drives. Um, but that's all I've had time for since coming back from a lovely weekend away. So I hope you all appreciate. Of course, leave a like down below. Um, I will be recording some more episodes for you very soon. So thank you very much for watching. See you.